Hey, I have had an excellent idea. Um, <laughs> what if the goths from the Sims 4, the new updated goths, uh, were uwu kawaii y2k? <laughs> So yeah, uh, hi guys, today we are going to be doing a speed creator sim and build video combined into one. I know, I know, I've done some new techniques, I've changed some things around, and now I can fit both things into one. Um, yeah, so I have maybe either improved the guffs or ruined the guffs, depending on your definition of the word. Basically, I have made them super cute, super uwu, super kawaii. Um, I have just made them very Y2K and I kind of had like my my prompt for this, my personal prompt for this was literally just um what if the goths were kawaii? Um kawaii was the word and it kind of evolved into Y2K. I guess it's just because I think Y2K fashions are cute. Um and then like when I was actually going through it and building it and like especially when I was designing Cassandra, I kind of realized um that or I kind of came up with the backstory for this, and the backstory for this is basically they're the goths, but Cassandra is a lot more outspoken. She is no longer gloomy, she is happy, and you know why she is happy? It is because she gets to live out her Y2K fashion love in peace. Um, and they're actually, so I made her like super pink, super girly, and that actually is kind of a, back, um, a reason why I made her super pink. Um, and that's because in a lot of her outfits, actually Cassandra, has a lot of pink in her outfits like cute pink and it look it feels like she's like her family is like this dark like dreary gloomy kind of dressing family very elegant very um very beautiful but very elegant very dark um and she wanted to go away from that but she's always been quite shy and a bit gloomy so she like she couldn't really break that mold and actually dress how she wanted to um but in this in this timeline she's way more outspoken and probably kind of terrifying and so she has kind of um, strong arms her whole family into turning their house really cute um, and also dressing very cute themselves and they've also had plastic surgery to make them look really cute and young um, yeah so these are kind of I, I just wanted to make cursed goths basically for you guys and um, how can you make cursed goths? Now I could have made them like really super scary um, and I did kind of start making like them actually even more gothic um, before uh, this video um, but I decided to go the opposite way and what's scarier than a gothic goth? Um, a goth that isn't goth at all. <laughs> and so now we have the cute goths. Um, God, if you think Bella looks cursed as well, wait until we see Mortimer because he looks absolutely terrifying. Um, ignore this long silence, by the way, that we've got going on right now with her like dancing about. It, that's kind of cursed. She kind of looks like the possessed Sims from um from Strangerville. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, I I meant to cut that out, and this is actually my second time recording this speed because the last time the audio wasn't so good. And um, I'm kind of thinking I forgot to cut that out again, but that's fine. <laughs> we're, we're moving on anyway um the best part about doing this it was of course being able to dress the goths up using more than just um base game and you will see that in the house as well i did not adhere to any specific packs at all i had a very limited color palette i was going off of and a very limited kind of style and i don't think i would have been able to get it across quite as much if i didn't use all i can this was also a great excuse for me to use the new pastel pot kit pop pot pastel pot kit no pastel pop kit by um by plumbella uh, while well, in collaboration made in collaboration with plumbella because uh i don't know if you saw my ranking video that i put out last week but i really like that kit and i've been itching for an excuse to use it and finally we got it and yeah look at mortimer he is so cursed i did keep his nose though because i am kind of in the big nose supremacy kind of group i uh i don't have exactly a tiny nose or maybe it's tiny i don't know whether my nose is big or tiny sometimes in some angles when i'm when i have a skinny face that's when my nose looks big but now that i've got a kind of chubby face now it looks kind of small um it's kind of like that weird kind of like it, it never looks perfect but anyway big nose supremacy for Morty also I was, it took me a long time to even grow into my nose so yeah um and you know what I don't want to change his nose I did kind of make uh the other sims have like you know the upturned button noses because that's what's popular and what that's what's considered cute at the moment not necessarily I'm not necessarily saying I agree with it same with like the massive eyes and that um this is not just something like I think oh my god that's amazing that's um that's super cute again these are supposed to look cursed and the big eyes kind of lend that and um, it's almost brat star like as well um 
And I have had a lot of experience recently with Bratz dolls. Have you seen that kind of, um, that thing that Bratz put out? Um, that animated, uh, was it Euphoria clip? Uh, with Bratz? And I think that's amazing. And I love the idea of, like, Bratz, like, starting to be ma uh, marketed towards, like, the people that used to play it. Like, um, you know, tongue-in-cheek, more, um more mature comedy in that and i love that and i love brats but also speaking of brats i kind of look like a brat star myself recently i discovered an allergy i have never experienced before i had my first major allergic reaction i said i don't actually know what it was to it might have been because of the new air fresh since my mum bought and i did get rid of them and that kind of solved the problem but i'm sorry mom um but yeah my lips basically swelled they were massive it was awful i could barely talk it was so painful um not to get into like the gory details but like they were like sores and those only just cleared up or finished clearing up today it was disgusting and my eyes were also super like um gunked up and they were bright red and because i have green eyes as well with the red in the background first i looked high and second i looked like christmas and don't get me wrong i am very jolly but it, it is still november um so that's not fair um and you know um i've been ill quite a bit recently as well like for three weeks solid basically maybe a bit longer than that i've had um i have had the flu i've had these weird kidney pains i've had this allergic reaction i've had some other stuff going on in my life and finally just to round it all off i'm clear of illness but now i'm on my period so now i've got cramps and that is not fun for anyone um we are kind of almost done with cassandra as well and she she really influenced the rest of the house which is why i'm kind of saying that cassandra might be the reason for um the house being that way and i don't know i actually love the excuse to like dress up anyone girly dress up sims girly and i think that i think i'm falling into my sims niche as well because everyone has like their kind of niche when it comes to like their sims building videos like every sims youtuber does um like for example biggest example i can think of right now off the top of my head little simsy and her blue suburbans um and i think my niche is like is renovating people to be and houses to be the complete opposite of what they originally were and i, I kind of love doing that i actually have like the save file that i'm making in my own time as well um it's i'm not going to get into too much details i don't want people to steal my idea and it is it is going to be a long time in the making because i'm redoing everything um but it's basically like a paradox save or i like to call it the parallel world save um where like basically all the sims are like almost parallel universe versions of each other for example i renovated or redid the goths in this uh save file and instead of being you know the dark elegance they are themselves they are instead um suburban super suburban country club types um the for the pancakes as well um i made eliza a sexy vampire and goth um, um and goth and bob a spellcaster and he's quite handsome as well i still kept his weight in there because who says big boys can't be cute uh anyway we are on to the build now we did kind of cut off in the middle of me doing alexander you might have seen me um doing his teenage face first and that's because uh i can't leave alexander to grow up looking absolutely disgusting um i'm, I'm sorry i just if i'm doing anything with the goths i need to make sure that alexander looks good in the future so i always age him up when i'm like redecorating the goths um i don't know uh upgrading the goths i guess, guess i should say uh so he kind of looks a bit more handsome now he still looks a bit weird and i can't get like all the weird features to go um not without like switching between different presets and not good enough to like make him still look like the rest of the family if that makes sense it's weird anyway alexander is just a cursed sim i'm sorry he is um but he's cute now anyway um so yeah that's the kind of um that's the kind of thing i was gonna i was saying about like my parallel worlds thing though is that like um I'm, I'm using it as a kind of way to upgrade some things and also um just because i love um like any story where you get like like bizarro like you get a bizarro version of of like a character even if it's just a side character or like a family of side characters that's supposed to like um look like a super boring basic version of the original one obviously they're not always going to be super boring basic i mean um the pancakes are quite boring on their own so that's why i made them like supernatural they're actually in love in this universe um you know they're not getting into arguments they share a room even i even brought iggy in 
Yeah, that's right. I even brought that toddler into it. So, you know, um, you can thank me later. Um, and I, <laughs> yeah, so that's the kind of like, that's the kind of thing I'm doing in my free time when I really feel like building, but I don't want to like, um, but at the moment, I'm kind of really behind on like making videos because I'm not doing any gameplay videos. So, um, or not doing many gameplay videos. Um, I'm not doing any of like my uh, series at the moment either. Um, just because they weren't proven to be as popular as ho I was hoping. So I've been taking a step back recently to uh, do these kind of videos instead. Um, you know, I still do speed builds because I really do enjoy doing speed builds. And I'm not going to lie, speed builds are super nice to do as well. Because um, editing them is very low effort. It's just speeding them up, going through them to cut out the awkward clips. And sometimes I just clip, cut out some clips that... Um, you know aren't really necessary or that entertaining just to uh, save time and then it's just a voiceover at the end where I just get to talk my feelings out and that's um and even though building these things takes time like um, I believe this whole renovation and that caught, um, took me about three hours and that's not including the uh, creator sim as well um even though that takes time I can do whatever I want while it's, I can watch like tv I can play music I can do anything anything I want while I'm doing it so it's super nice super easy to do as well especially because at the moment I am very very busy with work um and the reason why I'm very busy with work is kind of a weird thing I got fired from my job I got given the sack I got given the boot along with most of my team um but in the same phone call I also kind of got given a new job <laughs> in customer support in the company instead so my old job was with the um it was with this agency they were kind of crap not gonna lie my new job is with the actual company themselves so I get all the company benefits like there's a bonus scheme uh, I'm on contract as well I can't just be sacked at the top of a hat you know I need warning um, things like that and it's in customer support I don't know if I said that already and I really um, I'm going through training I started training this week and it is just honestly I am enjoying it so much and I think it's something that I think I'm gonna be good at so you know um, it's great I'm already the best at writing emails in the class I love being the best in class and it's kind of brought out um, my inner teacher's pep I am very much a Hermione Granger when it comes to any kind of like classwork or you know, classroom work or whatever so you know it's really fun and yeah I, it's just weird to say that I have a new job but it's kind of with the same company it was really sad it was really sad to say goodbye to my old boss though um because he was really nice and uh, you know he he kind of he didn't have to but he did actually arrange these interviews with us for customer support um even though he didn't have to he did it anyway and you know it was just really great so i don't know i know he's a subscriber as uh, uh, sorry i i know he's a subscriber to my channel i don't know if he's watching this right now but if you are watching it right now thank you so much i really miss you we all miss you we talk about you constantly um and i'll never have a boss as good as you okay i did get to keep some of my team with me there um like the people i was working with before because it was like my whole part of the department kind of went and they only kept a different specialized version a specialized portion even um but my work bestie came with me so hi if you're watching this which i know you are hi bestie you know who you are um <laughs> Uh, I kind of made the mistake of telling everyone, uh, telling people that I had a YouTube channel though, and now um, everyone in my new team is kind of asking me for um, my username so they can like watch my videos or whatever. And I kind of don't want them to do that because it's really embarrassing. I get really embarrassed when people in real life watch my videos. I don't know. I have no shame in sharing my videos with the with you, lovely, amazing people. But when I, when it comes to people I know in real life, um, I'm just really self conscious of like my work and you know any kind of form of self-expression uh you know it probably ties into my daddy issues not gonna lie um but yeah it's just it's weird um having a new job but i'm i'm kind of using this job as a time for me to reinvent myself as a person as well um and i've kind of realized because obviously I, I i did take that break in case i don't know if you noticed but i did take like a really long break um between posting because i was ill mostly um but i've realized that i really do love making videos for you guys and um i'm trying to like reassess my channel and i'm actually i came into a tiny bit of money recently not a lot i won a couple thousand um which you could consider a lot except i didn't have any savings before this so most of this is my is in my savings um but I, I i was very very fortunate to win a bit of money online recently um through just like this online sweepstakes 
uh, sweet steaks or whatever um and i have decided with uh, with some of that money i am going to completely be upgrading my setup um so i'm gonna keep my microphone because it was my birthday present it's a short mv7 so you know it's pretty good microphone still my settings aren't good i need to learn how to like set things up and i am going to be getting a proper mic arm i'm switching my room around as well so i'm gonna have a corner desk um and we're gonna have a really nice background hopefully as well so you you guys be able to see that either that or i'm gonna get a green screen um like i'm gonna improve my key lighting you may have noticed i do not have myself up i do not have a camera up at the moment um that's not because i don't have a camera at the moment i still do have my camera i'll probably keep it even though like it's kind of a bit weird um but the reason why i don't have my my little face cam on at the moment is just because my room is an absolute tip i just finished work and um i could not be bothered to put makeup on okay um <laughs> that's actually like the only reason um but yeah so i'm so hopefully keep an eye out i'm gonna be doing it gradually pro probably um but keep an eye out for like improvements basically in my space and in my recordings and in my quality hopefully as well um i have also managed to pay off um literally just before i won this as well i managed to pay off my pc so my pc is fully my own now um I don't have any kind of debt there. The only debt I have now is my student debt, and that is um, I don't have to. I don't even have to stop paying that until I earn over twenty five k a year, which <laughs> I am not going to be earning over twenty five k a year anytime soon, honey. Trust me, trust me. Um, so yeah, I, I don't even have to worry about paying that. Plus, it's the UK. It's not like um in other countries. I will not name off the top of my head. In England, um, you know, it's just a small garnishment from uh your wages you don't even have to worry about it it's really not that much either um so i'm um, i'm not worrying about it um i have actually become a money lender instead i've lent some money to my sister for her holiday and i've lent some money to my mum for a new sofa which i just lent it today i'm always already airing her dirty secrets but you know it's fine um she can't afford it obviously she just doesn't want to pay it all at once um but yeah um so she's kind of so i'm just gonna have discounted rent for the next few weeks um next few months even i should say um so yeah that's fine anyway um so yeah i I'm, I'm just really happy at the moment i don't know if you can tell but i am just i have had a weight fall off my shoulders right now and i am so happy um but that's that's me bragging over um honestly i can't say that i worked hard for this i just very i was just very very lucky um but what i will say is that um honestly it's Honestly, make sure not to spend all your savings um, because when you do, I was very depressed with the financial um, issues. I was very stressed and that's kind of like, because I'm fortunate enough to have done this. Um, I, uh, a lot of my stress and my anxiety is gone because uh, I don't have to worry too much about things at the moment. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be spending it all at once. Most of this is going to be staying in my savings uh, just in case of a rainy day um i can't i definitely can't use it to afford my own place definitely not um but i am going to hopefully um hopefully i'm going to get to enough subscribers at some point that this will hopefully help me um earn a bit more money on the side and maybe i'll even manage to move out who knows um i already think i'm i'm still entering the lot lottery because just in case um just in case i win the lottery because wouldn't that be great if i won the lottery you guys wouldn't it be amazing i'd probably still do videos if i'm being honest because i just really enjoy it um but you know if i had like the freedom to like not have to work on the side and just focus on videos all day i don't know i'm not gonna lie i think i'd hate it um but also it would be nice to be able to learn that lesson on my own to know that i hate not working um yeah uh but i should probably continue talking about the build as you can see like um before it was all pastel but now that it's come to like the living room and also the kitchen it's very much the y2k has kind of gone in there and that's just thanks to the pastel pop um pastel pop kit um and the classic i use some of the classic items as well um but thanks to that and the high school years pack um you know it's really influenced my style right now and i really love how this looks i'd love to live in a house that looks like this 
I love pastel, um, but I also love wearing black. I'm kind of like, one day I'll wear pink, one day I'll wear, I'll wear black, you know, it's kind of like a toss between the two. And that's because both colors suit me, okay? Um, but I'd love to have my house look like, look, look like this, but also I'd love to have like a gothic house. I think if I had the opportunity to have my own house with like my own decorations and that, everything would be different and um, like every room would be a different style i wouldn't stick to like one style in the house i think it would just be like an eclectic mess in the end and i think i'd like that i love like the eclectic style i love the maximalist style as well and the maximalist kit is actually my favorite um and that ties in really well with these uh, paranormal stuff packs so that's also my favorite stuff pack um you know it's just a lot of that um yeah so upstairs uh so this area kind of just previously had a piano and a violin and i think it might have had a chess table i can't remember um but you know those are fine i kept the piano and the violin i didn't even get rid of them but i did kind of move things around and i kind of made it into an almost like hobby upstairs um hangout area um and i think this is a family that um you know really encourages um expression and creativity um and so like they've got like this area to improve their skills um you know i i, I like this um i just like this area and i think i'd love to live, live in a house like this it probably actually will have too much pink and i'd be sick of it um but you know it's really cute um well, if I don't toot my own horn, I'm going to say it's really cute. <laughs> um, also, I don't think I mentioned it. I did cut out like um, the outside, me decorating the outside of the house. Uh, that's because um, my recording for some reason cut out part of me, part of me decorating the outside of the house. Either or just, I think I might have actually just forgotten to record. Not gonna lie. Um, and so I. I still had like a lot of the uh, decorating the outside, but I also wanted to cut it down to like save time in that. So here we are. Um, the house and the Sims will be up in the gallery though, um, if you want to check it out. Um, also, you'll have probably seen it in the thumbnail of this video as well. Um, you can also head to Twitter. I always post. Um, post on, I always post on Twitter when a new video is out, and with that post includes the thumbnail. Um, and obviously, with things like this, um, with any speed build it usually contains the outside now at the at this part of the video um it starts lagging a bit and i don't know why considering it's the same speed as it always has been it's just um i think my computer might have been lagging a bit more as well i don't know um i also cut out a lot of the bathroom decorating the bathroom decorating just because they're all the same basically they all look the same because um as plumbella says um and you just really shouldn't um bother taking so much time to you know do the bathrooms it's a bathroom no one cares people people go in there to shit and that's it i made it quite interesting just um oh i went so long without swearing i swear I made it really um interesting with like the pastel uh colors in that and like i did like little fur rugs outside those were cute um but so you know it's um you might not even need to sit there on your phone on the toilet or reading the shampoo bottles you know um you know, just something interesting to look at. But again, it, it's a toilet. You, um, you'd really, it really doesn't do much. Um, you know, it's not the kind of thing you want to be focusing on in your house. Although, not gonna lie, going anywhere that has a really nice bathroom, like completely pushes the estimation of like either the homeowner or the business owner in your view. Um, like the difference between like a pub with crappy toilets and like a hotel with grand toilets is massive um and you know i think you can really tell like the um you know how good an establishment is by how nice their bathroom looks but also at the same time you can really tell how like um how stressed out a mom is by how tidy their bathroom is because i swear like Stress, stressed moms just <laughs> focus on the bathroom. I mean, I guess you need to get your frustration out somehow, and sometimes that frustration um, is because it's worked out by you just scrubbing out a toilet, you know? I don't know. Um, or sometimes it's because the only time you get a break from your kids is if you're in the bathroom, so you know, you spend as much time in there as possible to avoid them. Although, if you have kids young enough, I think they still continue to bother you anyway. It's just one of those things that kids do. Um, they don't care if, you are, if you're on the toilet. They need to know um, what you're doing. Um, you know that they, they can't be away from their moms too long and to be fair i can kind of um i can kind of sympathize with that considering i have my own child that likes to watch me on the toilet by child i do mean cat but he actually has escalated to standing outside my door while i'm working 
to yell at me from outside the door. Sometimes he walks in to yell at me as well. Um, and he yells at me until I stand up and then he leads me to the toilet um, and he makes me go to the toilet so he can watch and get fusses. I don't know why he's so obsessed with getting fusses while I'm on the toilet. Um, I would say maybe it's because I don't pick him up as much as I do but, um, normally when I'm trying to give him cuddles. But I do pick him up all the time while I'm in the toilet because it's very easy to just scoop him up, you know. And um, he's only a small cat. He's quite heavy, actually, but he's a very small cat, my little chicken boy. Um, he actually made a, um, he made a visit out on my work call today and people said they liked his name and that he was cute. So, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, my life has been a bit weird lately and I kind of feel guilty for not having uploaded as much. And to be honest, uploads are still going to be quite slow at the moment. Um, I'm again, I'm trying to figure things out with every new video now. I'm kind of trying to get out new techniques, so things might be a bit weary, uh, weird, a bit like uh, spotty and like different. Um, but like, hopefully, you guys stick by me through this time while I'm trying to change things, and you know, just kind of, I'm, I'm hoping you guys can just support me as I'm kind of figuring things out. Um, I am honestly considering also moving up to Premiere Pro. Um, I know, I know, right? Moving up to the big leagues. I'm on DaVinci Resolve now, and then, and it's nice, but it's quite hard to get things and do things you know so you know I'm, I'm trying to teach myself at the same time and obviously if i'm teaching myself how to um use editing videos uh i'm not really um editing videos i'm just you know playing around with things um so that's yeah that that's that i guess um but yeah, uh, I, we, I believe we are getting towards the end of this video now. Uh, it's very, very laggy as well. I also cut out um, a part where I kind of just changed a bunch of the colored lights in that. It's actually very cute, very colorful, um, all the lighting in this. And I love playing around with lighting. I think that's something I'm going to be doing a lot more in my builds now, uh, just because it's nice. Also, if you heard that, that was my mum's sneezing. That was her again. Sorry about that. Um, so you know uh yeah but i am going to leave it here guys thank you guys so so much for watching uh i will see you next week with another video i'm not sure what video it's going to be yet but it's going to be a video i promise oh god i just made a promise that means i'm not going to have another video next out next week it just never happens that way um but it's fine um <laughs> but yeah anyway i love you guys so much um if you like this video consider liking it and maybe subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications so you don't miss another video um i am on twitter uh, constantly so if you want to reach me you can reach me there or you can just leave a comment under this video i look at them all i will see you later though guys have a really good day um i love you all so so very much have a good one Bye bye